deals with playing in Toronto? Do you not? Facts. Can you tell us what, you, what your status is and why you made the decision you made? Uh, yeah, I'm not fully vaccinated. Um, yeah, this was a decision I made a long time ago. Uh, I thought a lot about what I'd say here. Um, essentially, I made this choice and I thought I can keep it to myself, I can keep it private, but people are always going to wonder why. So I was raised in a holistic household where anti-vax is not like a term that was ever used. It's a weird term that has kind of been thrown around to just label people, but we grew up with like Chinese medicine and naturopathic doctors and just with that upbringing coming into this situation, I felt like I had a solid foundation of medical resources that could serve me beyond what this vaccine could do for me. And as things escalated and as this situation has played out, I've obviously had to reconsider and look at it differently. And to that point, it got to the point last year during the playoffs well, where I did actually consider getting vaccinated and went through with getting the first shot, the first dose, because at that point I was under the impression that getting vaccinated would mean that I could not get the disease and transmit it to other people. And I felt like if I'm going to be a part of society in the position I'm in, I need to do what's right for the greater good. That argument of the greater good held a lot of weight for me. And as things progress, as this virus has changed many different ways, it just showed to the science that that wasn't the case anymore, that even while being vaccinated, you could still spread the disease. So for me, in my reasoning, it felt like getting vaccinated was not something that I needed to do to protect other people and was something that I would have to do to then protect myself. And with that being considered and like the holistic background of my upbringing and just the way I view medicine in general, I felt like I was secure in treating myself or treating, not treating myself, but going to the doctors that I have to treat COVID if I did get it. And in the case that I did, I was able to go about it in my holistic way. And I mean, I'm able to sit here today healthy and okay because of it. Um, it was more so suggested and offered to me. It wasn't uh, never forced or required, just encouraged. How difficult was it, you know, to tell teammates or let them know that you'd be unavailable because of this? Did that kind of bring pause to your decision? Yeah, I mean, that was, that was really hard. Um, like I said, I made this decision a while ago where this situation I'm facing right now was not a factor. It wasn't a part of any of the decision making, making because at the time I would be available for my team and I would be available to play and not restricted in any way to do my job. And having had the stance I've had for almost a year now, I just felt like it couldn't be something that I could be forced to do because of rules or regulation changes. And it just seemed like the right thing for me to just see it through. And unfortunately, the repercussions of that are going to be me missing games and not being there for my teammates. And yeah, I've talked to them. And obviously, from fans to coaches to front office to teammates, there are people who are upset and people who don't understand. But ultimately, I've been lucky enough to have them voice that they may disagree, but they still support me in my decision making. And with that being said, I'm still going to be there and give 110% every time I'm available to be on the court. So that said, just how do you feel now going into the playoffs and sort of now knowing officially that you're not going to be able to play in, in those road games? And it sucks. It's not, it was not the outcome that I, I wanted. Um, yeah, it's always hard not to be available, whether you're injured or whatnot. It's it's hard to watch your guys go out there and fight without you, but I believe in them without me just as much as I believe in them with me. I think that you guys get a chance as any to make a run to the championship, and I trust these guys to take care of it when I can't be on the court with them. Was there, was there a point, because 
there, we've known for the last maybe couple weeks that Toronto was a potential playoff matchup. Mm -hmm. Was there any point that you reconsidered again and maybe said, okay, I can not make this a possibility? Yeah, I mean, there were there was there was points where I I many many points where I had to stop and reconsider, but at the time of having to make my decision, the the odds that I was working with were not 100%. So working with sub 50% percentages is just hard to commit to doing something that I felt like was not right for me based off of a potential that could turn out that I wouldn't have to have done in the first place. Are you concerned, are you concerned that this could impact your career moving forward? Yeah, I've accepted, I mean, one of the things my dad taught me growing up, he's like, you're free to do whatever you want as long as you're willing to accept the consequences of it. And like, like I said, I, I considered deeply all the, all the different avenues. And of course, I've accepted that this could hurt money, contracts, it could reputation, but I felt like this was the right thing that I needed to do for myself. So the name of the vaccine you did get? Was Pfizer? Or uh, Johnson, you Pfizer. One shot. Pfizer. What? Yeah. Take one more so, you, as you said, like the professional consequences here are really serious. Uh, just in your eyes, what are the downsides of getting this second dose of the vaccine? Uh, I mean, for my my reasoning for getting and not getting wasn't really the downsides. I just didn't feel like it would benefit me. I didn't see any benefits outweighing what I could seek from alternative medicine. Thank you. Thank you.